Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a haul video for you guys and it's actually been a while since I've done one of these because um, I haven't really purchased anything over the last three months. I think between like July and September I had purchased like two things or something. So really this is just uh, very minimal for me which is great because I've been trying to use up the stickers that I already have and also just exert some self-control with buying stickers. So anyways, let's just jump right in. The first shop that I've got here is Love Shira, and her packaging is so cute. It's this little pink um, envelope, and I got this so, so long ago. I don't even remember what I had purchased, but I think it was during a sale. So let's see. Like I said, I purchased during a sale, and I think part of the deal was that you could receive um, all the samplers that she had to offer in the shop, so that's kind of cool. I have like four different samplers here, and Love Shira is really known for her amazing lettering, so I love pulling in her lettering stickers, and um, I'm just going to quickly show you these samplers that I've got because they all have different things. This one's so cute. Work Them Squats, and then On Cloud Wine. So cute. And then we got this one here, the sleep in sticker I really like with the pillow. And here's the other one. Oh, there's actually five. So here is the last one that came with my order. And then in terms of what I actually got, what is this one? Oh, so we have a journaling card here and it says, you're like really pretty, which is from Mean Girls. I love that. And then the stickers that I got, the first sheet I picked up are these friend date stickers and I just thought they were really cute. And then let's see. Um, YouTube binge. I do have these already, but I ran out. Um, I use these quite often, so I had to pick up another sheet. I got this travel variety sheet, and I thought it was perfect because it has like book flights, pack your bags, book hotel, and then unpack luggage. This is the one I have the hardest time with. A lot of times I just leave my luggage unpacked for a really long time, so maybe pulling in the sticker will help me unpack more quickly. And then I've got these time for taco stickers that I think are really, really cute. I love me some tacos. Um, oh my gosh, I love this one. Ice cream run. And the last one is the film sticker. And I do, again, have the YouTube variety sheet, but I always run out of the film ones first, probably because I film more than I do anything else. And so um, I definitely wanted to pick up a sheet of these on their own. So those were all the stickers that I got from Love Shira. The next shop I've got here is Happy Daya Stickers, and I really like the icons that she has, as well as her little character stickers. So um, a lot of what I picked up actually was for a friend, and um, I do want to still show all these stickers on camera just because I um, think they're all really cute, but you may not see me pulling them into my spread because I got them for somebody else. So the first thing that came with my order is this gold foil sampler, and I think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, there's so much foiling. Um, I have another little sampler here, which has lots of little like character icons. Oh my gosh this grocery store is so cute oh and I love this little van for like traveling and this next little sampler has her character icons I think this is like a hot pot or like oh it's a tea and then a planner and a coffee so lots of different stickers on this sheet so onto the stickers that I purchased the first ones are these camera stickers and they come in a variety of colors and I just think they're super cute then I got a sheet of these couple stickers and it's like this um guy holding the girl and I just think that's adorable as well to mark any couple related activities. This one is the Disneyland sheet which is so cute because she's wearing her little ears and I think she's holding like the map of Disneyland and just being super excited to be there. Then I have this one which is called watching Korean drama. I just thought it was so funny. This girl I think she's like laying in bed. Um, she's got her little laptop or iPad and she's like crying because Korean dramas can be so sad. Then we have these hot pot stickers. We've got these toast stickers which are adorable um this is the korean barbecue sheet i picked up these adorable pancake stickers i think they're so cute with a little bear shape and then also these um, instant pot stickers because i do have an instant pot so i will be keeping this and marking when i actually make stuff with my instant pot which i don't do very often i really need to um, find some good recipes so if you guys have any recommendations for instant pot recipes i would love that if you want to leave them in the comments down below i'm always on the hunt for some new recipes so anyways that's everything that i got from happy diastic stickers. Up next, I've got lots of stickers from Hazel Sticker, and this is another shop that has some really great icons. I love her food drawings. like They're so detailed, and she's just really creative with what she does, so I'm really excited to jump right in. The shop owner, Ada, is so, so sweet, and she sent along a ton of extras for me, so thank you so much, Ada. That was really, really thoughtful of you, and I just want to get started with the icons, and then I'll jump into the kits that she sent along. So the first thing is this little sampler, and it has just a variety of different stickers, including food, 
and other types of like life activities. Um, this little sampler has some glitter headers and some text stickers. And then I picked up a sheet of these really cute glasses. I do have these as part of her travel sheet, but I really, really liked pulling them into my planning. So I just picked them up separately and I got a couple of those. Then I got a sheet of these curry stickers, which is perfect. This is exactly what like curry looks like. Like I said, her drawings are so on point. I have these eggs Benedict stickers. I got a sheet of the ramen. These Korean tofu pot stickers are so cute and I really like using this to mark anytime I get Korean food. And so I picked up two of them. I think I'm gonna gift one of them to a friend. And I got a sheet of these poke bowls. Again, it's so perfect. Like this is exactly what it looks like. And I got a sheet of these little pho bowl stickers. So she has these where it's just like one icon on the page. I think they're called like minis. And then there are also these um, other types of like variety sheets that come with a ton of stickers or like a ton of different designs on one page. So I picked up some of each. So the first sheet here are the Korean barbecue ones and I love these so much. They look exactly like Korean barbecue when I go have it, either with the round grill or the square like rectangular grill. And then it also comes with some soju at the bottom. Oh, I guess I got two of them. Or maybe one was just sent along as an extra. I'm not quite sure. And then this is the Korean food variety sheet. And so it has lots of Korean goodies, including the clay pot. But I wanted one just for that because I feel like I tend to eat that the most. And then I've got these Japanese food stickers. It does include the curry as well, but also has like ramen, the bento box. I think this is like karage, which is like fried chicken. And then we've got gyozas, etc. Lots of different types of food. I got the Vietnamese food sticker series, which I love. We've got the spring rolls, banh mi, like a little platter of all these goodies. Um, this is the pho, and I think this is the other kind of soup that is like more spicy because I see it's like a little more red. I don't remember what it's called. Um, I can never remember how to pronounce these, but these are so good. It's like Vietnamese crepes, and I also love these little dishes. We got Vietnamese coffee and then some desserts. Oh, and it looks like I got another sheet as well. And then this sheet is new. I think she might have just um, put it up in her shop, but this is the Thai food variety sheet and it has like all these different types of um, Thai cuisine foods. So we've got Pad Thai, it looks like. We've got like Thai soup that always comes in this kind of like bowl or pot, I guess. And um, this looks like curry, I would assume. Um, it looks like we've got some skewers. I think this is papaya salad. We've got mango sticky rice and then some Thai iced tea and other drinks. And here we've got the amusement park sheet. I think this is so cute. It's got all these different activities like roller coasters, Ferris wheel, etc. Here we have the birthday sheet, which is perfect for marking any kind of celebration, not necessarily just a birthday. And then um, here she sent along a couple uh, foiled sheets and the note here says that hollow is not in the shop yet So I'm not sure if it's available yet, but it should be coming soon So these are silver glitter headers with hollow foiling. I don't know if you can tell it's so pretty And then we've got this silver foiled happy mail sticker. I Think I picked this one up. This is a sheet of um, gold foil date covers And I like that she has two different fonts that you can choose from and then I got a little like sampler sheet from toffee bananas Which is super cute. I also love toffee banana doodles. Oh my gosh that backpack is so cute and the pillow is adorable this coffee oh my gosh or hot chocolate i guess because it has the whipped cream and the little shoes these are all so so cute and then um ada sent along these two kits and they're so gorgeous this one is foiled i'm so excited to show you guys but the first one is called set sail and it's kind of this nautical themed kit let me zoom you out just a little bit so you can see Okay, so we have the nine full boxes here, and I believe this is all her own hand-drawn artwork, which is amazing. We have the heart checklist with some quarter boxes at the top. Here we have the functional sheet. Oh my gosh, this weekend banner is so cute. I am obsessed. It perfectly matches the theme. I really like it when kits have weekend banners to match like the theme of the kit. I just think it's so creative when they have something like that. We've got some deco pieces and some little um, icons that you can use workout, a car icon. Con. We've got a margarita and here we have some little scallop checklists, some flags and um, sidebar trackers. We've got some flags at the top. We have little things and glitter headers as well as little to do headers. And then we have the bottom washi, which is amazing. Oh my gosh. I love her artwork. It's just so unique. And then we have date covers, date dots, a sidebar tracker. And then here we have some washi strips, I believe. We have quarter or sorry, third boxes and then half boxes. So I love the variety of box sizes because I tend to use these kind of labels um, a lot in my planning. So I like to have different shapes and sizes. 
And then the last thing I want to go over is this next kit. It's called Free Falling and it's absolutely gorgeous. I believe this is a rose gold foil, if you can tell. And this box here in the middle says Free Falling. So we've got the full boxes here. On this page, we have the date covers, which are also in gold foil. And then the bottom washi. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I can't even handle it. I can't wait to use this. And then here we have the weekend banner, which again is tailored to the theme of the kit and it has a little bow at the end. I think it's so cute. We've got all the functional icons again, the scallop heart checklist. We have the flags and then habit trackers at the bottom. Here we have the full heart checklist with the quarter boxes on top. And like the other format, we have the washi strips, third boxes, and half boxes. And then this last sheet has the flags, some little things, um, headers, and then glitter headers here at the bottom. And it's so pretty. So it comes with, um, I think, six pages for each kit. And then for the foiled ones, these two pages are foiled. So it will bring a lot of really pretty foiling into the spread. So anyways, that's everything from Hazel Sticker. I just love, love her shop so much. And Ada, thank you so much again for all the extra goodies that you sent along. I really appreciate that. And I hope you guys find some things that you like. The next shop I've got here is called Sunset Sticker Co. And the shop owner is Macy. She graciously reached out and asked if I would like to um, try out some items from her shop. So thank you so much, Macy, for allowing me to pick out some goodies. And the first thing that came with this order was the... Um, the sampler and it has a really pretty full box with a sunflower and then a weekend banner as well as some icons and then she's got some of these little like mini sheets in her in her shop and i think they're only um maybe a dollar or a dollar fifty so they're priced really well and um it just has a ton of different icons so i'm going to go over those really quickly here we've got some dumbbells for working out and i love these beer stickers you guys probably can already guess I've got some grocery stickers, these fires. I realize that every time I do, um, <clears throat> every time I have like a bonfire or we're just sitting out in the fire pit, I never have stickers to mark them. So I'm really glad that she has these in her shop because now I have something I can use. And these little pillow stickers are super cute. We've got these wine glass stickers some popcorn to mark movies and then pizza of course i can always use pizza stickers and then the um, tooth sticker to mark any dentist appointments or anything like that and she also has these larger sheets with like a variety of stickers i picked up a sheet of these coffee stickers i really like them i do have another sheet but they weren't cut quite as well so i decided to pick them up again these film edit upload and voiceover stickers are perfect because i do um do that a lot for my channel and then i picked up these game night stickers um just to mark any time we play board games with our friends. I picked up a sheet of these date night stickers. I think they're so cute. And I think the hearts are separate so you can attach them to any of the um, text stickers. I have a sheet of these like computer or TV screen stickers to mark any type of binging. And then I really like this last one. It's like a desk. So it's got like your iMac, there's a clock and these little drawers, um, a little like trash can, just really detailed. I love stickers that have a lot of detail and this one's really cute. And then um, I also picked out one kit and then she sent along another extra one which was really nice of her so the first kit here is a fall themed kit and I decided to grab this because I don't think I have any like photo fall kits so I thought this would be perfect um this box here says hello fall and I did pick this up in matte I always forget that photo kits tend to look better in glossy just because they're more vibrant um but it still looks really nice so here we have the eight full boxes and then we have the bottom washi with the um date covers for the top and there's just like all one strip which I love they're super easy to place down and then a hello weekend banner right there here we have the checklist we have a movie marquee a lot of like little text stickers I love that she has like all these work stickers so if you like to mark like every day that you have work this is perfect there are six so hopefully you're not working every single day of the week and then um, we've got some half boxes and quarter boxes and this relaxed sticker in the corner has a tiny cat sleeping on it which is amazing and then we've got the sheet with the um, headers and all the little things so I think this is a mini kit format and it comes with four sheets I believe her full kits come with six sheets but I've been really trying to use more mini kits lately so I just went with that and then the extra kit that she sent along is definitely Christmas themed and it's so cute um, I'm not quite sure what it's called but maybe jingle all the way because that's what this quote box says or it could be merry and bright because that's what this one says but anyways it's so cute and definitely um, perfect for the holidays here we have the bottom washi and again the strips for the date covers as well as a weekend banner 
We've got the checklist, movie marquee, text stickers, half boxes, quarter boxes, and this one is in the full kit format. So it does come with the two extra sheets that me, my other mini kit did not come with. So anyways, here we have the um, headers and the little things. We've got the ombre heart checklist with some little icons or like appointment labels at the top. And then here we have flags like the long kind as well as these little shorter ones. We have sidebar trackers here, bill do stickers, um, a set of glitter headers. We have scallops and then these cloud stickers, which are so cute. I actually love cloud stickers. I think it's a really great way to kind of switch up the way that you decorate things. And like, it's not a box, it's not a flag. And so I really like pulling these in when I can. So Anyways, thank you so much, Macy, for all these goodies. They're so, so beautiful. I love both of these kits and all of the little icons that I picked out. So thank you so much again. And one more thing I want to mention is that Macy was super kind and set up a coupon code in case any of you are interested in checking out her shop. So it's going to be Sherry20 for 20% off your order. And um, yeah, it's a great way to try some new stickers. These next stickers are from a shop called Twin 16 and the owner is named Mary and she was super sweet and also sent me this just as a little surprise happy mail package. So thank you so much, Mary. That was so nice and I love all of these stickers. I can't wait to show you guys. The first sheet here are the breakfast variety sheet and this is perfect. It's got like pancakes, um, eggs, bacon, croissants, and I can't, oh, waffles and then orange juice. So pretty much everything you need for like a continental breakfast. And then here, I love this one. It's called Life Happens Volume 1. And so there must be more on her um, in her shop, but I think these are so funny. So the first icon at the top, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to zoom in so maybe you can see it a little bit more closely. Is this girl who's like touching her nose and it just says things got canceled. And then this coffee says, I own you also with this coffee. And then these one says, don't drink in prime. That can be dangerous. And then down here it says, do it already. So I love this because you just don't really find, like this is really unique. I haven't really seen these in other shops. So that's really cool. And then here we've got some other text stickers like coffee Monday, we have hashtag hump day, and then Friday. So definitely for different days of the week. Here we have uh, floral headers with a bow and it's so pretty. I really like these. They're good for dividing up your day. And these ones are really unique. I haven't seen them before either. They're called stationary mug checklists. So they basically, I think, fill the box of the Erin Condren pretty nicely. And then you can just write a few little to-do list items in this little box. So that's super cute. And then she also sent along a kit. This one is called, it's tea o'clock. 2.0 so there must have been a first version so um, it looks like a pretty full kit because there's lots of pages um, the first thing that comes in the kit let me zoom you back out so I can show the whole kit um, here are the two little sheets that come with it so it's got glitter headers some washi strips here and then all the headers on this little sheet and then for the kit itself, I, I like to start with the full boxes so you get an idea of the theme. So here are the full boxes of the kit. We've got nine and it's tea themed, obviously, because it's called Tea O'Clock. And then we've got some little glitter like quarter boxes at the bottom. We have the ombre heart checklist on this page. We have some check flags and lots of icon stickers. I love that. Some circle icons as well. Bill do and then more headers. On this page, we have more functional items. We got the habit trackers, some quarter boxes. In, this one says important, and then this one says needs attention. We have the Monday through Sunday box and three heart checklists, an extra full box, so you get 10 in this kit, and then a weekend banner at the bottom. Here we have the half boxes and there are nine, so definitely quite a lot to, to choose from. We have more quarter boxes and then all the little things. And the last sheet here has the bottom washi, the date covers at the top, some date dots to go with that, the weekend banner, a little tea time banner, which is really cute, and then all this deco. So it definitely is a super full kit. I feel like it can be used like for two weeks or, um, in two different planners, like if you have an Erin Condren and then also like a personal or something, I think it would definitely be enough to pull into two spreads. So anyways, that is everything that I got from Twin16. So thank you so much again, Mary, for all of these sticker goodies. The last shop that I've got for you guys today is um, a relatively new shop. I think they just opened earlier this year. It's called Mochi Kichi. And um, the owners, again, were so, so kind and just reached out and asked if they could send me some things to try out. So, of course, I would love to. And they sent along a ton of goodies. So thank you so, so much. That was really, really generous. And real quick, the first thing that came were not stickers. I'm going to show you the non-sticker items first. So I think the shop mascot is this cute little Mochi character. And they're so adorable. As you can see, 
with these. So they sent along a little notepad. So these are little post-it notes and they're just super cute. And then also this little sticker book, which I actually don't own a sticker book like this. And so this will be really nice to, um, I guess, organize my stickers. I'm not sure if I love this method. I've thought about it, but I almost feel like it's kind of for me a lot of work to have to like reach into these little um plastic things to grab stickers and for me like if something is not super super easy I probably will be too lazy to do it so I'm not 100% sure I'm, I'm excited to try it out to see if it'll work and if it does I will definitely let you guys know um, if I switch up my organizing system but anyways they did send along this little sticker book so that was really sweet and onto the stickers the first ones are these like Halloween themed ones so I wanted to go over those first since they are kind of relevant we are already in October so I've got this little um sampler I think yeah because these are all stickers and it says shake your booty and boo and then this little mochi in a ghost costume adorable and then we have these little um quarter boxes again this one's in the ghost costume and this one looks like a mummy here we've got some icons and all Halloween themes, like this little mochi is in a cauldron, and some of the text says, like, say boo and scary on. We've got, um, I put a spell on you, and then these little, like, witchy mochi characters, so cute. Um, here we've got another Halloween series sheet, and we've got, like, party zombie, shake your booty again, and then some mummies. This one, I'm not quite sure what it's doing. Let me know if you can figure it out, and then we've got some like little spider web ones and then this one has like a plastic or like a paper bag over its head so cute and then the last one is really cute with like pumpkin it's more of the pumpkin series one so we've got these three little mochis and a pumpkin um this one says which better have my candy so that's really cute as well and then this one i think is trick-or-treating because she's like lugging this huge like pumpkin full of stuff i guess and they're all just adorable then we have these um, I think this is a journaling card. This could just be like a little um, to-do list maybe or like also maybe a card that you could send somebody and then I'm not quite sure what this is maybe a bookmark but it comes with um, all of these little extra goodies and then uh, for the regular stickers that they have these are not holiday themed. Um, let's see we've got so we've got quite a lot. Um, this first one says stay positive and that's definitely a good reminder. This one says confirm, so you can always use that to mark when you've um, finished doing a task that you've been you know, meaning to do or something. Here we've got one where it's studying, and so it's like reading a book, and this one's like sleeping with a pile of books. That's kind of how I look when I used to have to study for school. And then um, here we've got some little pencils with a like note page that's ripped out. We've got a read sticker, perfect. You can just mark like the book that you're reading that week. Here we've got like the raining one. So this mochi is holding an umbrella and I love these two. This one's like, I mean, this one's the funniest of course because umbrella is completely blown inside out. But um, I hate when that happens, but it's really cute on the sticker. And here we've got a morning sticker. So good to mark like waking up or if you have like an early morning or something here we've got a good luck sheet super cute this one says I am hyped and the little mochi is like jumping up and down oh my gosh so creative we've got I need to hide and it's like going down into a hole so funny here we have one that says cancel so maybe if something gets canceled instead of using a banner this would be a good alternative and then this one says work so it's like holding a little briefcase and it's going to work I wish I was as cheerful and happy every morning as this um one thing I do want to mention is that the color of these stickers are really pastel, which I actually like a lot because it's always easier to pull in pastel colored icons into a spread just because it tends to be easier to match um, kit colors and stuff like that. So I really appreciate the pastel color series. Let's see. This one says I quit and then it's like um, has a paper bag over its head. <laughs> This one says, I need a punching bag, and all oh, one one mochi is like punching the other one. <laughs> Ouch. Um, we've got this one that says, get lost, and then the mochi is like kicking the other one into the air. Oh my goodness. Here we've got like the hair salon sheet, and the little mochi is getting its hair washed, and this is actually perfect for when I go to Taiwan, because I always get my hair washed at the salon, and I'm going over the winter, so that'll be nice. Here we've got a no spend sheet, and it's got two different types of stickers. 
And this sheet I love so much. This is like the bad day series. And so we've got like this first one, it's like poop day. Um, this mochi is just like giving up like head on the table. Again, this one has like the over like inside out umbrella. This one has a bird that pooped on its head. This one's running into a wall. And then this one has fully run into the wall and it says splat. So these are all super cute and perfect to mark a bad day. Here we've got the um, dim sum series. So we've got like different little buns. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest Chinese takeout box. I could use a whole sheet of that. That is so adorable. We've even got like a little tea here at the bottom. And then here we have the baking uh, mochi. So it's like, um, what is this called? Like rolling out the dough and then it's like mixing, baking, and then weighing um, on this little scale. So it's got like three mochi stacked on each other. These are so, so adorable. I know I say that so much, but it's really, really true. I just love these so much. Here we've got a sheet of work, day off, and holiday stickers. Oh, and Friday. So you can mark when you're really excited for Friday, which I always am. And here we've got some functional stickers. And so we've got these little speech bubbles that might come in handy. I'll have to figure out how I want to incorporate them. And then a sheet of these date covers and it's so cute because it's like the butt of the little mochi which is adorable and then here we've got um a different series because the sheets are a little bit larger so I think this one is so perfect to mark happy mail it's like a box and these mochis are like popping out of the box and I think that's adorable and here we've got a to-do list sheet so it's got like these heart checklists underneath here we've got another kind of to-do list where I think this fits the box of an Erin Condren pretty well. And it's like all these mochi stacked on each other, like writing down the to-do list. And then this last one is like half boxes or functional boxes where you can write, um, you know, what's going on. And it looks like the little mochis are writing. So that just gives it like an extra little touch. So anyways, I love all of these stickers. They're so cute, um, especially like this little Chinese um, takeout box. I love that. I love all the Halloween ones that they they sent over. Um, these are all just too adorable and I cannot wait to pull them into my planning. So that is everything that I got from Mochi Kichi. I highly suggest that you guys check them out if you are into little cute icons because they definitely have a ton to select from. So anyways, that concludes my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. I know there are quite a few stickers and I know it's actually been a while since I've done a haul, but I've been doing pretty good with um, just budgeting and not spending so much money on stickers. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. So anyways, that is everything I've got for you guys today. Let me know if you have any questions down below and um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.